trying to dodge us. Abby was uh, inquiring if, if you had managed to recall any more of what happened. Sort of. Well, you must not exert yourself. It's bound to be traumatic. Well, I had a dream, but I don't know if I was remembering or... So what, what, what happened? It was all mixed up. They were shouting and I was scared and then... There was people all around me, and I don't know who they were, but... Seb was there. I saw his face. Someone pushed him from behind, and he fell. And then I woke up. It is possible that your subconscious is recalling what happened. And there was one other thing. When I woke up, I heard a voice. It was Cora's. It was him who killed Seb. Well, you always did suspect that he was involved. This is different now. I know it. I don't know if I was remembering, but I had a dream last night. A nightmare. I was arguing with someone. Kelly Nealon. I'm sure it was her. She was laughing at me because of how I looked. My clothes. We uh, tried to get away, and then someone pushed me, and I fell. And take your time. Uh, there was some others, but. I don't know the names, but Corey was there. I heard him. We are certain that both Kelly and Corey were present. I knew it. I can also inform you that two other people have pleaded guilty to your assault and are now on remand. Kelly Nealon has been charged with GBH for the attack on you and with Seb's murder. What about Corey? We've released him under investigation. Why? The CPS assessment, based on the evidence available at present, is that he wasn't involved in the murder. I'm sure he was, though. But did you see him attack Seb? No. I didn't. I don't, I don't know. It was all hazy. What about my dream? I know how much you want answers, but unfortunately that's not evidence. We'll need more if we're to charge Corey. I'm sorry. You can't let him get away with this. Our investigations are continuing. But if you do remember anything else, you've got my number. Thank you. It is good they're making some progress. They're, they've charged three people. But not the one who actually killed Seb. He can't get away with it. Ah. It's nice to see you making use of the art materials. It helps me think. Uh, I brought your favourite dress and makeup bag. Thanks, Roy. And you are certain you feel ready to come home? Yeah. I need to get out of here. It might help me remember more. Well, we can only hope those memories will come, even though they may not be entirely welcome. I know, but my memory's all messed up. I can't tell what's real or what's not. It's, it's like some awful puzzle that I need to solve. I understand. I... I, I give you some privacy. Thanks.
seems wrong being back here, knowing that Seb's gone. Let's get you inside. Carlos waiting to see you. You go. I'll be in in a minute. Oi! I want a word with you. How's Cora getting away with this? What do you mean? Kelly's been charged and mother lads, but not Cora. I didn't know. Have you given him another alibi? No. I wouldn't do that. You'd done it once. I wouldn't put it past you to do it again. OK, that was stupid of me. It was stupid if you see me in the first place. I don't know what he did to you, how he treated each other. The guy, he's a scumbag. It was your fault. If it wasn't for whoa, you, Whoa, 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 don't go blaming all this on her. The police told me what the witness said and all this started because of you, because of what you look like. Look at you, you're still wearing your stupid clothes and your makeup. It was you who got him killed. I was attacked too. Yeah, because you look like a freak. OK, that's not fair. Fair? How is any of this fair? My lad is dead. If you were normal, he wouldn't be lying in a morgue. So it's just as much your fault as anyone else's.